gospel one day. It was the summer we will never forget. A six week party, all watched by a million visitors from around the world. For London's top hotels, business was booming. Room prices had never been so high. Everybody has to smile and you have to, you know, like welcome the guests. We have to show them if everything is perfect. But amid all the Olympic euphoria, what about a different kind of visitor? The person hidden away in the background, keeping the whole operation going. It was hard, really hard. It's not like we can exciting because it's Olympic time. No, for us it was really hard the job. These are the staff who clean the carpets, wipe the bathrooms and make the beds. This is the story of their summer, of outsourcing, low pay and claims of exploitation, of new immigrants and disgruntled British workers. And I had a phone call to say that if the girls didn't like the way that the, the company was running it now, that they could, can I swear? That they could fuck off and not come back because she would have a coach full or a minibus full of other people to take her place, to take everyone's place. The Hilton Waldorf is one of London's iconic five-star hotels. It was home to VIPs like Michael Phelps this summer and the main base for the Chinese Olympic delegation. A package here with dinner and top tickets to the athletics cost £3,000 a person over the Games. This summer was also an unforgettable one for many of the Polish cleaners working here. Just two months before the opening ceremony, the hotel outsourced its room cleaning contract. Dozens of jobs were transferred across to a new company, Jani King, one of the largest in the contract cleaning business. That transfer has caused serious anger among many of the cleaners at the Hilton Waldorf. Newsnight has spoken to five people working there and seen a letter signed by another 25. They say they've been left worried for their jobs and out of pocket. Some say they've been left with only a few hundred pounds to pay the bills each month. Yeah, you know, I was so happy that I'm working for Hilton contract because, you know, I got good money, no problems, no nothing. Annetta followed her husband to the UK in 2007. She spent more than two years now at the hotel. Before that, she was a primary school teacher near Warsaw. She says the problem started when the first wage slips arrived. First, the agency changed the way cleaners are paid. Instead of getting wages at the end of the month, they suddenly had to wait up to seven weeks to get their full pay. This wasn't a one-off. It was happening every month, leaving some cleaners hundreds of pounds out of pocket. When I opened my payslip, I was really surprised because I was expect 1,400 pounds and I received only 200. So I asked him, but I work. That was my hour, it was almost 200 hours on that because it was Olympic time. And that was him answer, you are not allowed to get the money now. And you know, I have to pay my rent. It's not possible to manage with 200 pounds. Jani King says it did offer some employees short-term loans to cover a gap in their wages. The workers, though, say this was just a temporary fix and the next month they faced the same problem. I sit in the office and I'm crying because, you know, it's, I call them again and again and again. Ivana has been here six years. She sends the money she earns back to her husband and two small children in Poland. So we are fighting already three months and it still is not end. You know, that is ridiculous because I'm doing a really good job and I want money for my job. The problems continued. Pay slips from the hotel show some cuts in some cleaners' hourly wages from one month to the next. Then, just before the Olympics, all the room cleaners were told to sign this confidential letter. Under old Hilton management, they were expected to clean at two rooms an hour. Now that rate was being increased to three. In threatening language, the letter says if the new targets are not met, disciplinary action could follow. That hotel is five stars hotel, so 20 minutes for clean the rooms. Believe me, never, never. No one can to do it, no one. Just maybe you can make the bed and you can clean the bathroom like a little bit, and that's it. The cleaners say staff were pressured to skip breaks and work overtime for no extra pay to meet the new targets. But 
This is about more than a few missed payments. It's about a whole business model. Hotels are now routinely contracting out tasks like room cleaning to outside agencies. Done correctly, companies in low-wage sectors say outsourcing can cut costs, bring in more specialist staff and in the end increase the quality of the service. There are, though, laws meant to protect working conditions when this happens. In simple terms, outsourcing should not be used as a way to change anything in the cleaners' contracts, including the way they're paid. Chris Jeans is one of the country's top employment lawyers, representing clients from Wayne Rooney to Andy Coulson. The central problem, certainly in the low pay sector, would appear to be uh, that individuals don't know their rights. In the case of uh, foreign workers, uh, there may be a problem uh, with English uh, or uh, an unwillingness to confront authority. In the coalition agreement, the government said the labour market should be competitive, but it should also be fair. The danger is, critics say, that aggressive outsourcing in low pay sectors like hotel cleaning can just encourage contractors to drive down wages and drive down working conditions. The majority of hotels in Crawley, you will find every house, near enough, every housekeeper is Eastern European. But could outsourcing in this way also be pricing British workers out of a job? 58-year-old grandmother Stella Judge has been looking for work for more than a year now. A veteran of hotel cleaning, she claims she's seen wages and conditions deteriorate. It has changed and then they bring in a load of, um, am I allowed to say Bulgarians? Bulgarians, Romanians, who will work for that kind of money and they will work from morning till night. Some of them don't even go home, they stay in the hotel. Stella was working until May last year when her hotel outsourced its cleaning contract, again to Janny King. She was sacked. The firm says for misconduct, she says to make way for younger, cheaper Eastern European workers. In the House of Commons last year, Stella's local MP stood up and used parliamentary privilege to link her dismissal and that of a colleague to their nationality. Mr Speaker, recently I have been dealing uh, with a case on behalf of two constituents who were dismissed from their job with a commercial cleaning firm called Jenny King, uh, uh, allegedly for being British. Can we have consideration for a debate uh, on discrimination against British workers in this country? But Mr Smith's argument isn't that firms like Jenny King are racist, more that the terms and conditions they now offer make those jobs attractive only to new migrant workers. You can see it's a pretty cynical uh, wage model that uh, some companies are using in that they not only are uh, paying the lowest possible wage and therefore uh, attract people coming to the country um, from a, often from economies um, where their high unemployment's even higher, uh, but also what they're doing is, is they're turning over staff very quickly uh, so that they're constantly getting people at an entry level so again they can only pay the absolute minimum wage uh, that they feel they can get away with. The answer, he says, is not more regulation, but better enforcement of the laws meant to protect low-paid workers like hotel cleaners. For Stella, though, the job hunt continues. I feel bitter. I, th I feel bitter because I've been treated bad by them. So I've had a first, first-hand experience what they're like, what they, are, what they want to do. They do want to get British people out and get more Bulgarians in because it's cheap labour. They don't argue. But there are signs that's changing. Many of the Eastern European workers who arrived almost a decade ago now speak the language and know their rights. The cleaners at the Waldorf are certainly not afraid to confront authority. Earlier this month, though, Ivana turned up for work and was told to go straight back home. She'd been dismissed. The other senior cleaning staff have been told they must now go through a selection process to keep their jobs. I think they will sack me. Because um, I'm, all of us, they are exp expens expensive for them. So they're going to just wait for that moment when they can sack us from the work. And we know that then one day we'll become... So we're just waiting for that. 
Many low-paid British workers were making exactly the same complaint when the UK opened its doors to Eastern Europe. Now it's these Polish workers who feel threatened, exploited, worried and, above all, vulnerable.